Whether the stars involved were trying their best to keep from legitimately going up in flames and producing comedy magic in the process, or messing up lines to the point of creating a moment far more effective than the one previously printed out in the script. The directors behind these scenes simply had no choice but to immortalize these particular TV clangers due to the performances on show being so utterly marvelous. Gareth here from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 TV mistakes directors left in because the acting was too good. Number 10, a blue blazer blunder leads to gold. Old friends. If you ever needed a reminder of just how unrivaled the electric chemistry possessed by the titch of the group of friends truly was during the NBC smash hits days as the biggest sitcom in town, then look no further than the way the comedy kings and queens handled Matthew Perry's hilarious verbal misfire during season 4's The One with Phoebe's Uterus episode. With the Chandler Bing star tasked with delivering the line of Donald Trump wants his blue blazer back, Perry unfortunately found himself fumbling out the word black at the end of that attempted zinger. Far from allowing this clear error to derail the bit, though, an almost cracking Perry was soon met by wave after wave of brilliant improvised digs from the likes of David Swimmer, Jennifer Aniston and co as the unit rolled with the mistake. And the creative squad behind the episode found the entire exchange so unexpectedly hilarious that they felt it was more than worthy of making the final cut. When you throw this many brilliant comedy minds into a room, a few unanticipated moments of side-splitting improv are always to be expected. And this particular set of priceless unplanned utterances helped unquestionably save the slightly botched scene, all whilst a Seriously poking fun at their co-star in the process. Number 9, Ashton Kutcher's genuine slip fits Kelso perfectly, that 70s show. With Ashton Kutcher's Kelso not exactly being known as the brightest personality in the world, a trait I happily share with him, the visual of the goofball flying across a sofa and almost completely wiping out during the events of season 1's The Best Christmas Ever episode didn't feel all that out of character for the lad. In reality though, this was actually very much a case of Kutcher completely misjudging his landing on the day for real, and just about keeping it together long enough to get through the subsequent moment opposite Lisa Robert in Kelly's Laurie. The end results left the studio audience howling with laughter, and Kelly herself legitimately struggling to keep a straight face, as Kutcher did all he could to hilariously compose himself. Had any other character found themselves at the centre of such a potentially disastrous botch, there's a good chance the scene would have been taken back for another attempt. But with this physical blunder very much being one that seemed comically in character for Kelso, and subsequently making the awkward moment even more hilarious than it likely looked on paper, the team behind the show felt it deserved to stay in the finished article. Number 8, Kelso Kelsey Grammer's Flasier leads to gold, Frasier. Another tongue twister of sorts soon led to Kelsey Grammer being met with a particularly cheeky response from his amused co-star. You can hardly blame the Frasier leading man for struggling to get through the line of, faults finding floor fleeing Frasier without the odd trip along the way, I'd know it just took four attempts to record that line, but rather than burst out into a fit of laughter on the back of signing off that statement with the word Frasier, during one particularly unfortunate line read, David Hyde Pierce had other ideas. Without skipping a beat, the Niles actor jumped on the mistake with a mischievous, you said Frasier, before repeatedly poking his on-screen brother over his botch, and the subsequent childish back and forth was so gloriously side-splitting that all involved felt getting rid of it would have been a foolish failure on their part, Damn it! Number 7, the door jam was too good to leave out, Breaking Bad. Despite being known for their frankly absurd attention to detail as creators, Vince Gilligan and the rest of the team behind Breaking Bad still weren't exactly against keeping in the odd unplanned development if they felt it fit the story they were trying to tell in their TV masterpiece. And in the case of that time, Jesse Pinkman and Walter White were attempting to flee the cops during Season 2's Better Call Saul episode, one unexpected awkward occurrence just could not have worked out any better in the moment. With a flustered Aaron Paul's Jesse trying his best to get back into the vehicle containing Brian Cranston's Walt, the car door suddenly decided it didn't want to play ball. This soon led to the pair who refused to break character, desperately trying to get the thing open so they could rapidly vacate the area, only adding to the palpable tension felt throughout the scene involving the DEA closing in on the two. So it's not hard to see why director Terry McDonough felt that this seemingly unanticipated malfunctioning door was simply too perfect and authentic stubble to leave out of the already chaotic sequence. Number 6, Frank Silver's mirror appearance was a happy accident, Twin Peaks. As far as bizarre casting stories go, the way in which Frank Silver went about landing the role of the unsettling Bob in the iconic surreal drama series known as Twin Peaks is definitely and rather appropriately up there as one of the strangest. While shooting a scene involving Grace Zabriskie's Sarah Palmer bolting upright and screaming on her couch, the image of an individual was accidentally captured on the mirror behind her. And while camera operator Sean Doyle was less than impressed by the fact that he just 
unintentionally caught then set dresser Silver on camera, David Lynch absolutely loved this mistake and used it as the catalyst for the creation of Killer Barber. Lynch had already taken the time to shoot some footage of Silver upon hearing that he very nearly locked himself in Laura Palmer's bedroom, becoming fascinated by the visual of the set dresser lurking in frames. So the combination of Zabriskie's screams of terror and the haunting accidental glimpses at the bob in the mirror soon resulted in this happy accident becoming the foundation for one of the creepiest antagonists in television history. Number 5. Ian Glenn's made-up Dothraki becomes official, Game of Thrones. Trying to improvise some dialogue in your own language isn't always the easiest thing in the world, even for the most experienced actors out there. So you can only imagine just how difficult trying to string words together in a fictional language must be. Ian Glenn in particular knows precisely how tough letting loose a couple of foreign words without any real preparation beforehand is. Having to do exactly that when tasked with delivering some of the final bits of Dothraki to appear in Season 2 of Game of Thrones. With the star and folk shooting the episode requesting an accurate translation of the words take all the gold and jewels, the fact said Dothraki alternative didn't arrive in time for the shooting of the scene led to Glenn having to make something up on the spot. What Glenn produced on the day may not have been 100% accurate Dothraki, but the fact Sir Jorah Mormont wasn't a native Dothraki meant that language creator David J. Peterson was able to find a way to bend the rules of this way of speaking in order to make sense of the character's choice of words. Simply put, Glenn's Dothraki improv may not have been absolutely perfect, but it was still delivered with a level of conviction and believability that made it just about possible to squeeze into the Dothraki language. Number 4. Some excessively burning hands made the cut, what we do in the shadows. Make no mistake, a dangerous stunt going wrong on the day of shooting is definitely no joke. But if all involved in this sort of on-screen miscalculation managed to make it out of the ordeal relatively unscathed, there have been those few occasions over the years when a backfiring stunt has still managed to be effective enough for use in the end product. Look no further than that time Natasia Dimitrov very nearly went up in flames for real during the shooting of the What We Do in the Shadows TV show. For an example of those times, a botched TV stunt didn't necessarily lead to an unusable take. Heading into the moment involving Nadia's hands catching fire in the middle of a church, the special effects guy working on the project used a special paste that Dimitrov quickly realized had been applied a little too generously on her hands. Before she knew it, both of her hands had rapidly ended up excessively on fire, leading to the actor panicking in such a way that all watching on simply felt she was really in the moment as her character. Far from it. Thankfully, Dimitra made it out of the scene with both of her hands still intact, and with show creator Jermaine Clement feeling the fiery accident still very much looked the part, the actor's visual fear of actually losing her hand in the moment was ultimately preserved in the finished episode. Number 3. Benedict Cumberbatch forgets his line, but his alternative worked perfectly. Sherlock. Rather than completely drying up and requesting another go at one particular moment in the thick of Sherlock's The Sign of Three episode that ultimately aired in 2014, Benedict Cumberbatch decided to have a little drunken fun as the titular world-famous detective. When referring to pal John Watson, played by Martin Freeman, after the pair had enjoyed a few drinks too many, the eventually Oscar-nominated star was supposedly meant to deliver a scripted slurred line. But with the words escaping him in the moment, I apologize for my… my… him fell out of his mouth instead. Absolutely Absolutely loving this attempt to keep the scene alive after very nearly bringing the sequence to a screeching halt, director Cole McCarthy clearly felt that it wasn't worth going back and delivering what had previously been written down. Cumberbatch's improv felt perfectly in character and left many assuming it was simply a part of the plan all along. Number 2. Olivia Cook Couldn't Hide Her Genuine Laughter House of the Dragon Coming during Episode 8 of the Game of Thrones prequel series, Olivia Cook's Alicent Hightower can briefly be spotted sharing a chuckle alongside her on-screen father, Reese Evans, playing Otto Hightower in a dinner montage. But far from Cook simply laughing along in the scene as the usually rather stoic queen, the actor appears to briefly let her mask as Hightower slip for a second as the words, Stop making me laugh, can be seen tumbling out of her mouth. With Cook's reaction to Evans jokingly clapping his hands as Otto being so genuine in the moment, and her quick slip out of Alicent territory thanks to her co-star's unscripted shenanigans, not exactly taking anything away from the scene, director Gita Vasant Patel likely didn't see any obvious reason why the fleeting beat of warmth between the pair couldn't be thrown into the finished episode. A few flickers of joy were always going to be needed in a series as dedicated to tragedy and family drama as this, and Cook's failed attempt to keep herself from corpsing mid-scene was evidently too lovely an accident to erase. 
Number 1. James Gandolfini's burn screams were for real and were too good to drop. The Sopranos. Another case of a burning moment leading to a legitimate response that was too damn excellent to leave on the cutting room floor, the late James Gandolfini evidently wouldn't let anything get in the way of delivering the goods as the iconic Tony Soprano. In fact, the legendary figure was so determined to keep up the illusion of his Sopranos leading light during one particularly fiery scene that he found a way to incorporate a legitimate burn into his performance. As Tony is seen stumbling around the kitchen after after violently killing Ralph, the actor wanders over to the lit stove and quickly recoils upon getting a little too close to the fire. Far from being an impressive piece of pretending though, Gandolfini apparently legitimately burned himself on the flames and let out an anything but artificial scream. Without so much as showing a glimpse of the actor within, Gandolfini then proceeded to let out an in-character curse before switching off the stove in the heat of the moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. An accident that could have understandably led to another actor needing to take a second to make sure they hadn't just blistered their hands turn into a way to simply add even more of an edge to the already rough and ugly sequence that had just unfolded thanks to Gandolfini's quick thinking. And that's our list of any other TV mistakes directors left in because the acting was too good. Let us know all about them in the comments section right down below and do not forget to like, share and go and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, if this kind of thing is your bag, then please head on over to whatculture.com and find some more fantastic articles just like the one this video you're watching right this second is based on. I have been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you as always, for clicking on this lovely video today. Hopefully, I'll see your pretty faces very, very soon. But in the meantime, just be good to yourself. Bye-bye.